Seven News on Fire Alert. We have new photos showing the West Fork Fire Complex as it continued to spread across southern Colorado this weekend. Three fires actively burning in the complex, burning more than 76,000 acres. Now, this is the very latest map showing the land area already scorched. Wolf Creek Pass is still closed. The town of South Fork has been evacuated. That South Fork, it's on alert. And Seven News reporter Molly Hendrickson tracking this fire all weekend as it grew. Molly, you just got an update from firefighters. Yeah, and today, really the first day we've heard promising news here. They say that neither fire, neither the papoose burning here, nor the West Fork burning here, really advanced today despite huge plumes of smoke. Most of that smoke, they say, was coming from the interior of the fire burning. Near the West Fork complex, some of the most impressive plumes yet. But for firefighters, there is nothing impressive about this. Today's been just about as windy, if not windier, than yesterday and the day before. Wind is hindering air attack. This National Guard video shows water drops, but heat and weather, the true boss of this fire. They have to reduce the amount of water or retardant that they can carry, um, and also it determines whether or not they can even fly. Terrain, both friend and foe, aspens and open meadows, a saving grace for South Fork, but a problem for ground crews. Very steep, rugged, jagged, rocky in a lot of areas. So that makes it extremely difficult to get our people in there and unsafe for them to be, be going in there. Instead, most resources stationed further away guarding structures. Every one of those dots is a structure, either a business or a home or something along those lines. That's where we're concentrating our resources is to prep those places to come up with plans of action. They got to know where to go. Additional resources are coming by the day. National Guard now here to man roadblocks and relieve state troopers. To be able to support the state when there's a fire, when there's an issue, when there's something that needs an air asset, that's why we joined the Guard. The fire is the nation's number one priority. Still, no signs of those massive DC 10s. They're available to us if we need them or think that it's the appropriate thing to use because the, all of the, the heavy aircraft are a national resource and can be used anywhere. Now, let me show you where South Fork is on this map. It's right here. Fire officials say the fire is still burning about two miles outside of the town. No structures have been lost. Over here, the papoose. It is burning close to structures, but they say to their knowledge, they haven't lost anything. Tomorrow, they're going to focus on controlling the direction of the fire through natural terrain so they can start to build a line around the fire. Some good news there. Now, there have been some rumors that the town of Creed is under pre evacuation status. That simply not true tonight. Reporting live near the fire lines, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.